Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I want to show you how to use functions in AutoHotKey. So let's create a new script, AutoHotKey script, uh, functions. Uh, so here, so let's open it. So the first thing, the important thing in functions, so each function has a name, okay, so you must declare its name, okay, so let's name it by my function, okay, let's write so simple function, here in this function, so that's the start of this function and that's the end of this function. So let's, for example, write uh, just a message box saying hello, I'm running in the function uh, my function. So when I ran, when I ran, so nothing happened, okay? Because, so I just declare, I say that this is my function. To run it, I must call my function. I must call it, okay? So I, when I, if I want to call it, I just write its name, my function, like that. So when I ran, so hello, I am running in the function, my function. What's that mean? That mean what, when I call this function, that mean that I want to run all the instructions in this function. All the instruction starts after this symbol here and before this symbol here. Okay. So I have just one uh, instruction this, so I run this message box because that I see this message here. Okay, so with functions, I can pass parameter. For example, if I have this parameter here, x, so when I call this function, I must specify the value of this, of this parameter. Let's, for example, write 3 here. So here I, and here I write, so the value of x is and here I will write the value of this. Okay. So let's run now. So the value of x is a three. Okay. If I I change the value from here, so I find the same value here. Okay. We can pass also many. Uh, many parameters okay just separate them by comma okay so let's let's now separate uh sense of r or s we can specify a string here hello this is algeria and here i see another message box The value of S now is S. Okay. So when I ran, so the value of X is 1234, and the value of S is hello, this is Algeria. Okay. So I see this message showing the value of X, and then I see this message showing the value of s. Okay. So let's erase s. So we said that you can uh, pass a lot of uh, a lot of parameters. So let's see. Let's use x and y. And here we pass four and five. And here we declare a variable y is equal 
x times y. So here y equal equal the value of x times the value of y, which is so. That means that y is equal 20 because 4 minus 5 is equal 20. And here I return y. Okay? Because the function can return something. Okay? So let's here declare a variable d is equal my function for 5. And here I see the message box message box of the value of d. So the value of d is equal d. So let's see what happened here. So the value of d is equal 20. Why? Because here when I call this function I pass 4 as a value of x and 5 as value of y. So here I make y is equal x times y. That means that y equal 4 minus 5 uh, times 5, which is equal 20. And here I return the value of, of y. Okay. And here when I, I will write d is equal this function. That means that d is equal what this function return here. It returns y. Because that I see that the value of d is equal 20. Okay? So that's it. I hope that you subscribe to my channel. And I hope that you like my video. And see you later.